deserve it, no doubt. <laughs> yeah, of course. Um, first of all, he wasn't winning that first fight. Uh, I put up the second round for everyone to see the last one. And little Declan Gary there went like Bambi when I hit him with a right hook and his legs went. And um, yeah, listen, I won that round. <laughs> and then he got points taken off in the, what was it, fourth round? So yeah. that's an eight ten round. So if you want to go, go that way, then I was winning the fight. You know what I mean? You can't lose when you won the second round and then an eight ten round in the fourth round. So the only person who constantly said I lost that fight was Declan Gary and all his yes men that he has around him. So um, I'm looking forward to setting this straight and I won't be leaving up to the judges. Declan Gary is getting knocked out. Simple. Mate, you can't stop traffic. You stop it. You have two stoppages. I have fucking, what, 13, 14 points or something you have. Two stoppages. Can't stop traffic. I don't need to stop, stop traffic. I'm going to break you up. Okay. This is going to be an easy night's work for me. I don't know what them bookies are thinking. It's a uh, I genuinely believe it's embarrassing. This, you're this, undefeated, you're a champion, and you're still under the underdog going to the fight on the focus cards. It's embarrassing. I was fourteen it's embarrassing to one. Me. I was fourteen to one underdog to win prize for after battling you. And I still won that, didn't I? So bookies don't know anything. Mate, you're getting broke up. It's not even gonna go twelve rounds, so it's gonna be it's gonna be an easy enough night for me. I have the game plan down to T and uh, that goes in for a hard night, trust me. Declan, how, uh, without giving uh, exact tactics away, what makes you so certain that you win this fight? I'm looking fresh tonight. I'm going to look fresh that night. Oh, he's going to get a boxing lesson. He is. I fought his game the last fight and still beat him. Not, every, not all my yes men said it, the scorecard said it. Yeah, we fought his game. We fought when, when someone gets a squad fight. We fought the old fight the last time and I'm still beating you. You're going to fight my game Saturday night. What, well, run? Catch the chicken, ah, is it? Mate, that Catch the pigeon. See, <laughs> Listen, mate, you can't run for 12 rounds. It's going to be easy. Just not 12 rounds either. That's the only thing you can do. Run. Hey, I can box, you can't box. Alright, we'll yeah, see. The pressure for it, that's all you have, mate. You're I'm going to actually help box you just for the last. <laughs> just to show the people that I can box. I'm going to help box you, I'm going to help foot you, and then I'm going to stop you. So you know what you are? Hold some lawyer, mate. For four years, for four years, you've been annoying. Still stacking there, you've been pulled to the lawyer. You're fake, you're fake. You're four years, you've been annoying, yeah? You're torn around. This is just a bit. You're gonna let me talk. Or do you wanna talk first? Well, I'm gonna talk over you, but. Go on, talk now, I'm gonna let you finish it. Go on, I'll let you talk. For four years, you've been going on about this, that, and the other. You didn't want to. Hold on, don't worry, let him talk. Four years, I've been going on. Mate. Declan Gary is the only one that's been mate. going on. I haven't been calling for this for you. I'm the champion, like you said. He's the one calling this for you. You should have kept your name out of your mouth. And you might get knocked out on Saturday. You, every time you did an interview, you said you didn't want to fight me. You didn't want to fight me. You don't because want to fight me. Know. Because you wanted to fight you. Because you don't want to fight you. You want to fight you. I'm going backwards. And I'm accepting this oh, fight okay. just so I can set the record straight so you shut up speaking my name. Mate, you're a compulsive lawyer. First of all, alright? You turn around and say you can make better way easy. Can. But then you're saying, and then, then I get told that you're saying, I'm as big as a uh, Loy Welder. So you're talking, surely, I'm, mate, as I'm as big as a Loy Welder. I come in at Loy Welder because I'm a big super featherweight. You don't come in at a big, uh, you don't come in at, if you're not a big super featherweight, you're not, uh, you're not going to be coming at Loy, Loy Welderweight. Then, or at that, or you're contradicting yourself saying you can make featherweight. You're no, because you have no clue how to make weight. You're a compulsive lawyer, that's all it is. You have no clue how to make weight. You were saying last week, I'm on championship weight. If you were on weight last week, then that's stupid. Because I ain't on weight last week. I was nice and strong last week. I ain't training my muscles for nothing. Man, you're doing water now. Yeah, yeah, I'm going to take that water off. And then I'm going to come in at a featherweight and I'm going to battle you. Can, have you got any back on your camera? Definitely. <laughs> 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 I've never died out on the face, so I don't want that guy he's talking about. But the only time... You really thought you dropped down and then came back a little bit? Dropped down and came back? You came to, you That's called being point. smart, because I've done 12 rounds. You wouldn't know anything about it. Okay. Let's we'll see, Saturday, about 12 rounds. The only time you were up in Belfast for the good shows when you got knocked out. And it's going to be no different this time. I think, it's, uh, I think it's fair to say that, once again, there's a, a little bit of edge on this one, and uh, it's one I'm really looking forward to, and uh, he's the betting favourite, the bookies reckon that Jono's going to win it, Declan, as you hear, is convinced that he's going to win it, as he is. You're getting so, that wrong, the bookies have me favourite. Let, the have me favourite. Oh, that's changed from when I last checked it. I beg your pardon? 
There we go. He says he's the batting favourite, so uh, that uh, puts me in my place nicely. <laughs> Jamie. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with him. Just, uh, just tell us about this as a fight, as a matchup. I mean, this is uh, this is a special one, isn't it? Um, is you all got battery still on your phone here? Is it stop talking? But no, brilliant, absolutely brilliant fit. Um, the first one, I was, me, me and Michael were ringside for it. It was some fantastic fight over four rounds. Um, over 12 rounds, it's going to be even better. Sorry, I have to put him on, on the spot right now. Uh, who do you think was winning that four round for you? Oh, you know you're not a George. Jano, you were, I, I had him winning. Thank you, my man. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate that. It's going to be a good one. And uh, if, uh, if the book is... Jano, tell me, what did you say on social media? Going to retire of a BJ? What? If I beat you, you say I'm going to retire. I'm not going to retire you when I beat you. <laughs> you don't have to play we're going to have three losses, mate. Well, if I beat you, what's going to happen to you? It's going to be another one. No, no. no one's going to happen to me. Right. Because I'll have one loss, you already have two, and you're still, you I'm still you. giving you a win. Ask me what happens if you beat me. What? Ask you're going into a tournament, no, mate, that's what happens. I will happens. not get beaten. I will not get beaten. There you when, go. When, I will not get when I beat you, you're going into a journeyman mode. That's what happens. I'll tell you. You don't need to ask me the question. Nah, when I beat you, you're going into a journey, man. And that's it. Nah, Enjoy those four grand lead paychecks you're going to get. Four grand, mate. Another interesting face to face photograph coming up in a few minutes. Well, and the communion see all of you as well, by the way. What, what did he just say? Bell told me I took a communion and see all of you from the last press conference as well, pal. Well, when you're in a fake, you go, boss. <laughs> <laughs> you got a moisture. Yeah, not that you're in a fake, you go, boss. Put it like that. You wear a tracksuit, you wear a t-shirt, mate. Fake you, got boss. Same well, look fake guy. Fresh now, and you ain't me. I'm looking fresh now. No one cares, mate. No one cares what you look like. Pretty boy. I'm gonna slap the hell out. You want to be pretty out of the same room? You ain't gonna deal with nothing. Two but two Dublin boys get together. This is uh, this is the outcome. Gonna be another tremendous fight, as indeed I think a lot of people would say about the uh, WBO. Intercontinental Super Lightweight title fight between Jack Catterall and Belfast's Tyrone McKenna.